So if you think the Galaxy S20 Ultra's camera system is impressive, it looks like once again, Huawei think they can go bigger and better than Samsung, at least in the hardware department. Firstly, this post online by a prolific Huawei leaker. This is in relation to the front camera setup on the P40 series. We've known for a long time now that Huawei will probably implement a cutout display design on the P40 phones up at the top left, just like they did on the Nova 6, the V30, and won't go the Samsung route of putting a small cutout. According to this tweet anyway, the P40 with a dual camera at the front, and then the P40 Pro and the P40 Pro Premium Edition with an extra depth sensor added in there too. The secondary camera would be an ultra wide, and the depth sensor would help those two upper tier phones with some portrait modes. We even got a couple of screenshots from him showing the notification bar at what might be some P40 phones. And you can see in typical fashion with cutout displays, nothing on the left hand side where that cutout would be on those phones. A really interesting neat though today was the emergence of details regarding the refresh rate and also some camera specs too. Apparently the P40 Pro will be getting a 90 hertz refresh rate screen. The non-pro version though sticking with a 60 hertz display. If true that means this phone is going to get beaten straight out of the gate by the S20 series, the Oppo Find X2, the OnePlus 8 Pro, all those phones using a 120 hertz display. So this leak tells us a few things. Firstly, the Mi 10 and Mi 10 Pro with their 90 hertz refresh rate and full HD resolution are actually looking pretty good right now. The second is that the S20 series with 120 hertz refresh rates are also looking really good. And thirdly, that the Find X2 Pro and the OnePlus 8 Pro are gonna smash the P40 series in terms of the screen. But it does confirm once again that Huawei in the P series at least focused on the camera first and foremost. So to that end, we also got a leak of a possible specs list for the camera system on the P40 Pro. A warning here that this can't be verified as 100% true, but it gives us a very good look as to what might be coming. Firstly, it details the quad camera system that might be going into the P40 Pro. So the 50 would be a brand new main camera sensor that Huawei are gonna implement this time. And we have the 40 megapixel ultra wide camera that Huawei are usually these days doubling up as a video camera too. An eight megapixel zoom camera, expected to be 5X zoom on the P40 Pro and a time of flight. We can also see here 10 bit, which is in relation to the screen and how many colors it can provide. That's a very good spec and is up there with the majority of flagship phones. And then here it names a camera unit an IMX 700. And if we can believe this leak, this camera sensor is going to be ginormous. A one over 1.3 inch camera sensor will be one of the biggest camera sensors you'll find in a smartphone right now. To put this into some context, the normal Galaxy S20 and S20 Plus use a one over 1.76 inch sensor and the absolute camera beast, the Galaxy S20 Ultra with that huge 108 megapixel camera sensor measures in at one over 1.33, meaning this Huawei sensor is even bigger than the Galaxy S20 Ultra's camera sensor. We've heard leaks that this will be coming with some new pixel binning technologies to increase the size of the pixels to get better images and better low light images too. Also detailed in this leak is Huawei's continued use of EMUI, the operating system that they use on top of Android. So there will be no Hongmeng OS coming in this phone. Huawei don't want to use Hongmeng on smartphones, they're quite happy using the free version of Android and putting EMUI on top. And as we know, Huawei are pushing Huawei mobile services, HMS, heavily in the P40 series. This is their replacement for Google mobile services. Huawei officially telling us recently that Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter will all be officially available on Huawei's app gallery. Still no YouTube or Google mobile services though. Google have themselves applied once again to be able to serve Huawei, but this will undoubtedly be denied once more. So no GMS we can assume on these phones. Unfortunate, but it gives Huawei an opportunity to go a different route. I'm sure a lot of people are interested to see what they can do. So Subscribe for all the latest tech news and videos. That's it for now, but I'll see you in the next one.